the old coot here coming at you from the back country, right? This is the chaparral country of Southern California, basically where it's rattlesnake season year round. Particularly though, this is kind of like what's considered the start of the real rattlesnake season, which is usually about mid spring to late summer, even into early fall. Usually rattlesnakes, they, actually there's really no pattern. I know that a lot of them come out in the morning because they're trying to sun up, right? Cold blooded creatures. They're trying to sun up and warm up for the whole rest of the day. So you'll find them out there. They're active at nighttime. You never know when you may encounter a rattlesnake. Anyways, great little product from Pike Trail. These are their rattlesnake prevention, I guess, gaiters, which are designed to protect your ankle, your foot, your ankle, your kind of shins, the back. Basically, you've got full protection all the way kind of around your calf muscle, your shin, the sides. They're very, very well constructed, very thought out. It's kind of like wearing armor. You've got a plate here, you've got a plate here and a plate here. Very flexible, like kind of like milk carton, cut like the gallon jugs of milk that kind of plastic or like if you played soccer as a kid when I got a lot of red cards <laughs> so like the referee would throw out the red card it's made out of that kind of soft plasticky material that a rattlesnake cannot puncture through but yet it will protect you that's the most important part mostly cordura I believe on the outsides you've got a lot of different adjustment points this is hook and loop velcro is that the technically correct or not correct terminology or whatever you've got buckles as well for like quick disconnects and reconnects if you need to like take them off for whatever reason adjust you've got like an itch or something but the velcro the hook and loop stuff and i'm doing this with one hand too which kind of shows you that if you had to do it with one see there's a guy right there there's a guy that's just literally traversing down the trail right he wishes he had rattlesnake gators i guarantee it yep yep i could just see him saying yes yes help me i need a rattlesnake protection thing device majiggy anyways here's the here's the hook and loop closure part right there which like i said if you had to do this with one hand you totally could but basically you just kind of adjust it to where you need it that's where you've got this little bit of uh, room here to play around with i'm pretty big i'm 360 pounds my thigh see here we go here we go just right right through the grass so wouldn't he have loved to have the these gators on just saying just saying anyways i'm pretty big 360 pounds my calves my shins are just massive right played football played soccer i kind of have that kind of rugby i kind of got that body going on but anyways uh hook and loop very easy to disconnect you've got a lot of adjustment room here you can pull them as tight as you need them and then basically reapply that hook and loop but if you had to quick disconnect boom you could just do that and they're off so just kind of giving you the idea what's going on to reconnect now what i would do is let's see if i can do this with one hand i'm going to loosen my hook and loop uh, velcro and then basically reconnect but see how easy it is to do with just one hand i can do that pulling tight and then tight and then there you go there's also a little loop that goes underneath your foot which is this part right here which kind of helps to keep them on so they're not riding up your thighs your walk as you're walking through this chaparral -y kind of you know environment just like that guy did right exactly like that guy that guy decided to take a shortcut that shortcut may have cost him a leg <laughs> if, if he if he would have encountered it, right just saying just, you never know just saying but anyways very well constructed. I do like the company as a whole. I do like their product line. Very durable, very, very, very well constructed. They also make different types of gators. So I will put a link, see if I can get that to hold. I will put a link down below in the description to their landing page. And then you can kind of check out like, are you doing more winter hiking? Are you doing more spring or summer? Maybe different terrain. Maybe you need a different type of gator. So and other stuff that they sell. So I will put a link to that down there below. One last little tip or trick, always bonus material is carry a spray bottle that has a stream function. See that? Just so that if you do encounter, if you do encounter a creepy crawly that's just, coming at you charge please only do this if it's coming at you charging at you moving in your direction where you absolutely feel that your life is in danger you're in fear of great bodily harm then having one of these is well worth it because you can literally squirt whatever it is you need to stop their forward movement right say a rattlesnake whatever you know if you encounter a lizard just leave it be it's it's not gonna hurt you a little lizard isn't gonna do anything to you just let it kind of do its thing on the trail and it'll probably disappear you know especially if you encounter like a furry little bunny or something you know be nice to the animals just saying don't be cruel to them but this is what i carry for rattlesnakes 
And knowing that I have armor protection with me makes me feel a whole heck of a lot more comfortable out here in Chaparral country in Southern California. Anyways, if you do like what you're seeing, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button down there below. I'll put a link to the Pike Trail line of products down there in the description. Make sure to check that out. I'm the old coot and I'll catch you on the next exciting video.